Hi guys, welcome to the short video about question if the terabox is safe to use that's a one terabyte not one gigabyte actually one terabyte which means 1024 gigabytes of free storage i mean it's very tempting so a lot of people are downloading and the reviews are actually pretty good so here we see an overview of the reviews most of them are five stars and there are a lot of downloads here we see an information that terabox surpasses 10 million global downloads and here you can see even detailed trend about the download rank and you can see it's in the top 200 already and moving up and up and i mean this is only uh, to the end of november so uh, we can assume that it will be soon in the top 100 so what's behind this company or uh, behind this app when we do a little bit of research we find out that that's the old ubox which has been renamed to terabox and it's run by a subsidiary of uh, the Chinese search engine uh, giant Baidu. I mean, that's a Chinese thing of Google here. And of course, like here as well, also in China, the large companies have to give full access or at least partial access to the Chinese government agencies and whatever you store here on this storage, free storage, you have to assume that the Chinese government agencies have access to this data. So that of course leads us to the first risk that you don't know who really has access to your data. Whatever you store, it won't be safe. It won't be just for you. You can assume that a lot of people uh, will have the possibility to look into that. I mean, not everybody, but at least government agencies, by do itself. And uh, I mean, these are not just companies. I mean, it, these companies are run by private people. And depending on how good they are supervised, they can also uh, take this data at home or at least make screenshots and use it. So definitely don't store very sensitive data there. Nothing which provides uh, access to your uh, financial funds or so. No keywords to uh, crypto wallets nothing which is really important for your business or so and also we don't know where these things are stored how it is stored based on the terms which were published actually under the due box and now is used for the terabox as well it says that just uh, flex tech is running if you look up this company you won't find anything uh, at least not here in us or europe or so i guess it's something in asia and uh, at least I couldn't find anything, but, but it looks like it's owned by Baidu and probably they will store it on servers in Japan. We can find this here in providing the service. We may store, process and transmit your information in Japan. Hey, yeah, OK, uh, could be also other countries or so you really don't know. And you don't know if there are backups and so on and also there is some report about i think it has been on reddit or so that they were running like a scam at least in china mainland where they let everybody uh, use this free storage and then uh, after some time they reduced the download speed to only 10 kilobytes so a lot of people have been storing huge amount of data and then the people had to pay a premium subscription to get their data back. So these are the main concerns. So I don't consider this data to be really safe and also don't expect the, to be able to uh, retrieve it back for sure. I mean, they can also go out of business, change everything from one day to the next. So if you're just storing cat videos or so, or maybe uh, using it as a second backup for some videos which are not really sensitive to you or your business or anything else. I mean, for me as a YouTuber, I'm using this to store some 
old videos which I don't know if I will ever use them again maybe I'll use them maybe not I don't know if I lose them yeah no problem if somebody looks at them uh, steals uh, even distributes them uh, also absolutely no problem for me it's nice to uh, have the possibility to move it away from my own disk and free up some space so for me it definitely works I've even done the subscription because it really gives me much more possibilities for normal users is 500 files <laughs> yeah okay you have one terabyte and but only 500 files are possible it's very very limited so it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to have just the normal option but also the premium is not very expensive and it gives me up to 50,000 files everything's working really good and fast till now but I'm definitely not planning to rely on that so it's it's just a little bit of extra space if I lose it yeah no problem with that so yeah this, this is my recommendation just use it as long as you can but definitely not for very critical or sensitive data and uh, yeah I hope been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time